going on? My name's Lewis. I'm a forex trader from the UK. I uh, just thought it'd be good for me to do like a day in the life sort of video. I've never done anything like this before, but I thought it might just add some value, just show you sort of what I go through on a daily basis. Uh, you would have already seen my morning routine. Um, yeah, just showed you a little bit of what I do in the mornings, uh, including my weekly trading report. Um, always keep that up to date. Just any trades that I can find during the week, any sort of pairs that I'm adding to my watch list. You also saw my, my journal, the way I write down my watch list and also my goals for the week. So just things like that I've already shown you, but I'll try and film as much as I can throughout the day, uh, just showing you what I get up to. So yeah, I hope you enjoy guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Hey guys, um, I thought I'd just share something with you that I think is quite valuable. Um, and I think that quite a few people um, struggle with this concept sometimes. So. Um, if we just take a look at the Euro USD chart for uh, last week, um, if you're a support and resistance trader, you would have seen that it broke out of this major support at 1.100. Um, and most traders would think, oh, wow, it's broken, closed below this level. This is going to absolutely melt, um, which is fine. Um, most traders would think like that. I used to be the same. I used to trade support and resistance only. That used to be the only thing that I traded. And when the price broke out of that area, I would just hit the sell button really, really quickly, hoping it would um, just melt to the downside. But if you just uh, take your time to just plot on some market structure. So for example, we've got this um, descending channel. Um, you can see one, two, three, and then the final move here to break down and then push way back up. Um, you'll see that this is a false breakout. And also if you bring it down to the four hour chart, you'll see this even more clearly. Um, so we had that initial break and close below and then immediately pulled back up to the upside. So like a bullish engulfing uh, candle. So you would have been able to take the long position then all the way back up to almost 1.1. So a nice nearly 100 pip trade there. So just be careful and cautious when you're using support and resistance. Just make sure that market structure, you're listening to market structure and also just using what is showing you. So this channel here, you would have saw that. Okay, so I can see that it's broken out, but how is it broken out? You just have to react to what the market is giving you rather than try and predict what's going to happen happen next. Just react to what it's telling you now and react to what it's uh, possibly going to do in the future. So yeah, I just thought that might be handy, guys. So cool. Okay, morning guys, uh, it's about quarter past 10. Uh, this is meal number one for the day. Just got some porridge oats and a nicely chopped banana. Um, don't ask me why I do it like that, that's just how I like it. Um, yeah, I always have porridge in the morning, slow releasing carbs, gives you guys a lot of energy. Um, and the banana, obviously a good source of potassium. So yeah, really good for you. I'm gonna eat this up. Uh, just eating my breakfast guys uh, just thought I'd check up on one of the trades that I've taken early this morning uh, GBP NZD short to the downside uh, looks like it's doing pretty well uh, yeah so reason for the trade uh, if we take this back we can see that this is a massive area uh, so we've got like that double top there um, expecting some GBP downside as well after the big news uh, break for them on Friday the obviously the decision not to cut the interest rates or, and we also had a voter that decided to change his mind. So uh, yeah, good news for the pound, but some well needed rest. So yeah, nice trade on GBP NZD.
Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on GBP NCD. Um, I've just closed the trade for uh, just under uh, about what's that, 100 pips. Um, so obviously an amazing trade and a good start to the week. Um, I can see that it's just coming into the over uh, overdone territory now in the RSI. So just thought I'd take some profit off the table. Um, obviously an amazing start to the week. Not every trade looks like this. I mean, almost perfect entry. Uh, and then it absolutely melted but yeah not every week or every trade is like this so don't don't think i'm some sort of mastermind uh, i just happened to catch this trade at the right time right analysis and uh yeah so gained quite a lot uh, on that uh, i don't really use monetary values i just go by pips so nice 100 pip trade um yeah that's also one of my goals for the week so i'm pretty happy that i've almost i've already completed one so in my journal catch a 100 pip trade so we can take that off already um, yeah, awesome. Nice to get a tick on there already. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, meal number two of the day. Um, it's just chicken, bacon, uh, pasta, and some greens. So, yeah. Uh, more carbs, more protein. Yeah, just a nice, healthy meal. Uh, got loads of cheese on there. I do love my cheese, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, just gonna eat that watch some lucifer um and then i'm gonna get back to the charts so yeah catch you guys in a bit Good afternoon guys, uh, it's currently 25 to 2, uh, just going through my afternoon analysis and I think I've just found uh, a great trade, a uh, good high probability of it happening on USD CAD. So I've been following this trade for quite a while actually. Um, on the 4 hour chart you can see we have this massive market structure um, starting from up here. So we got, uh, it's like a, ascend, a descending channel, descending wedge sort of thing. So it starts off here, touch all the way to there, to there, to here, was our most previous uh, long-term swing high, all the way down to this swing low here. And we've come up and we've just touched that trend line right now uh, where we think it is gonna sell off. And if you do switch to the four hour time frame, you can see that this price action is becoming tiresome now. So the buyers are losing momentum. You can see that these long wicks are just pushing up and uh, yeah, so I just entered on this candle here on the four hour candle, as you can see, uh, here's my position. So risk reward of 3.3 to one, uh, looking for quite a large swing on this one. So my first target is here. Um, I have three open positions currently. I like to sort of hedge my positions when I'm managing my trades. So I'll, I'll, um, I'll open three positions, take one at my first, take one off the table at my foot when it hits target one. Then I'll move my target down to somewhere like this, uh, take the second one off, and then finally the longer swing back down to the swing lows here uh, is where I'll take my third profit off the table. But for now, this is my first target. I just thought I'd show you guys. I also updated my weekly trading report just for the same thing I just said to you. Uh, so a picture of the chart, the date, and just some simple analysis just so I'm uh, documenting my trades. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that, guys. Um, yeah. See how this plays out. Good evening, guys. It's about 6 p.m. now. A few hours have passed since I last uh, had any recording to do, but I just thought I'd record this part because not many traders actually go into this. And uh, it's something pretty valuable, and I think you guys might learn a little bit from it. So, yeah, like I said, 6 p.m. I've been dealing with a little bit of family stuff, but just come back to the charts right here. And the USD CAD trade that I took, 
uh, as you can see, just shot right up through into a loss, which is fine. Obviously, it's fine as a trader. Like, losses are, are normal. It's going to happen. Um, but I just want to talk to you guys about risk management and how I deal with losses because not many traders go into how they actually deal with it. Um, so, yeah, I think the reason for this uh, sharp uh, breakout was because of uh, some good news for the US dollar yet again. So, uh, more good news and more upside pressure from the dollar so it's just yeah it's just climbing and climbing and climbing um i thought that my position might uh just avoid that but yep yeah, stopped out for about 30 pips so that's fine um so how do i deal with losses um i basically don't care <laughs> um i know it sounds you know cliche saying you know you should detach yourself emotionally from the charts things like that but the only way I can best describe it and the only way that it's ever actually stuck to me was I attended a webinar once and a, or actually it was a seminar because it was in person. And the way the, the teacher described to me, it just hit home then that I was like, wow, that's, that's so true. So he said to me, I asked the question, I was like, how do you deal with losses then? Like, how do you, because sometimes I used to get very, very frustrated when I had a loss. I used to keep chasing a loss. I used to open a ridiculous lot size trade on my next trade to try and recover losses, which is just a big no no. So I asked him the question and he said, well, think of it this way if you had £100 and you were walking down the street and you check your pocket and you only had uh, you lost a pound, you had 99 pounds, what would you do? And I said, nothing. I was like, I wouldn't really care. And he said, the same as with the trading. So as long as you're only risking one or 2% each time, why should you care? That's, it's, it's all about risk management. And when you're risking more than one or 2% of your account, what is, what are you willing to risk and what are you okay with losing? Because you are going to lose. Um, that's just part of trading. No one is 100%. We're not robots. So you will have a losing trade like this one here, even though you think it might be a sure thing. Like I was pretty confident on this trade. I thought it might go the whole way. Um, and the setup looks clean. It looks nice. It's one of my perfect trades for my uh, strategy, but it's still lost. So yeah, that's how I deal with losses. I just detach myself mentally from the charts and just think, well, I still got you know, even if I lose one or two percent, I've still got 98 percent of my account balance to work with. And I was also using a three point three point three risk reward. So I could lose this trade three times and have one winner and it will recover all of my losses. So that's how I deal with it. I just go back to that scenario every time. Just remember that guy saying to me, um, if you had a hundred pound and you lost a pound, what would you do? So that just think about that, because, you know, imagine if you're risking, say, 40 percent each time. If you had um if you had a hundred pounds in your pocket and you lose forty pounds, you'd care a lot more, wouldn't you? So yeah. I just thought I'd uh, touch on that because I know not many traders do. So yeah, that's my insight on it. Um also uh, that's pretty much it for my analysis uh, on the charts tonight. I probably won't do much else. I just need to add this to my weekly trading report. Um what I do do though is I'll do some res resistance band workouts. So um, just to keep my head nice and level and yeah, I just feel like working out is a good part of any lifestyle, just physically and mentally. So uh, we're going to get into that now. I'm going to set them up and uh, show you guys what I do. So yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble on. But yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Cool. I'll see you in a bit. guys just got done with my uh resistance band workout that i do at home um 
if you're wondering why I don't go to the gym, uh, it's because it's just an unnecessary cost to me when I already have the equipment here at home. Um, and also I'm kind of new to that sort of thing, so I'm just gonna start from scratch at home, see how I get on with that at first before I start spending money on a membership. But yeah, just got my workout done. Uh, gonna go and eat my last meal now, or maybe my last meal of the day, which is a lamb curry, which is lovely. Yeah, looks really good. So yeah, see you guys then. What's up guys, so just finished my tea. Um, I'm off to a poker tournament now. Um, I actually really enjoy playing poker. I don't know how some of you guys are gonna react to that. Uh, you know, like the whole gambling thing, blah, 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 but it's actually a free tournament. So you just walk in and just say your name and start playing. Um, yeah, so going to the free roll at Rainbow Casino right now. I will catch up with you guys when I'm in there. Hopefully you get some good luck tonight. See you in a bit. Okay, pretty average I would say. Just thought I'd give you guys an update. Yeah, I'm gonna head back in there in a second, see what I can do. So yeah, catch you in a bit. guys um, I'm back home from the poker tournament now uh, it's 11 o'clock on the dot just busted out um, played really well some really good hands it was a really fun time uh, I love going to the casino it's just a really really nice environment I'm not really a gambling person um, but I only play poker because it's a strategy game um, you get a chance to bluff read other people I just really enjoy it so I thought I'd just show you it because I'm doing a day in life this is the sort of thing I would do when I'm you know away from the charts just thought I'd give you an insight into my life um, I'm back home now, I'll probably just do a little bit more chart work just before bed just to see any trades, potential setups for tomorrow and also just how the day has ended really so have a look at all the daily charts on my watch list just see how the daily candles have ended um, I also just want to say thank you if you've made it this far into the video I really appreciate that if you have um, I've never done anything like this before and I would appreciate it if you guys just drop a comment, drop a like, let me know if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed this type of video, because I can make this sort of thing again. Um, let me know what you want to see from me, because I'm happy to help with any problems you might have trading at the moment. Um, I'll see what I can do. And also, drop me a comment, let me know what your current trading situation is, how you're getting on, how about uh, a normal day in the life for you, things like that. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you if you've made it, made it this far. I'm just going to go in now, do some final chart work, and yeah, head up, head to bed. So yeah, thank you guys. It's been a day in the life of me, Lewis. <laughs> thank you.